The very first video I ever did for this channel, over six years ago now, was all about Will Rowe Hood. I chose him because I think he is the perfect illustration of the fact that literally anyone in Star Wars has potential for a story. Even a random background extra running around with an ice cream maker who appears on screen for maybe two seconds. Well, his story in particular has been updated, and from a certain point of view, The Empire Strikes Back, with Rob Hart's contribution due on Batu. So I think it's appropriate that my very first video also gets an update. And sorry for this video's simplicity, but there just aren't very many images of Wilro Hood. Wilro's job on Cloud City was overseeing pressure leaks. It was a basic maintenance job that he hated. He wasn't paid well, and the story states that the people who owned the machinery got all the money, while the people who actually knew how it operated were paid minimally. So he spent his days dreaming of making himself rich as an adventuring smuggler rather than making someone else rich through manual labor. One day, his chance came when a smuggler friend offered him a camp to know and a job. He was to deliver the package to Batu in three days or face the wrath of the intended recipient, someone named Tropos. He was given 10,000 credits up front and would receive another 50,000 upon delivery. So he hired a cloud car pilot named Bexley to fly him there when the time came. But he drank and divulged too much information to the pilot, who he found attractive. And when the Empire arrived, Bexley stole the camp to know from Wilro's apartment and he chased her throughout Cloud City until they were caught by stormtroopers. They wound up working together to free themselves and decided to travel to Batu as originally planned. But on the way to their ship, the package was dropped and whatever was inside broke. Fearing terrible consequences, they still left Cloud City and headed for any planet but Batu, hoping that whatever was inside the Camp Tano would be worth enough to start new lives. This was one of my favorite stories in the book, but I was a little biased just because I was excited to read the Wilro Hood story. I love that it treats the Camtano kind of like the briefcase in Pulp Fiction. We never learn what's inside, and yet we have characters fighting over it. I also really like that despite being a short story, Hart is able to squeeze a lot of meaning into it. Wilro and Bexley both work menial jobs for other people. They have a chance to work together, but they both blow it and try to seek fortune only for themselves. They eventually learn their lesson, but their cargo is damaged, and we don't know the full consequences, but if they had just worked together in the first place rather than try to backstab, they would have been in a better position. And that should go for all the citizens of Cloud City that work to keep the elite fat and rich. They should be working together to make life better for everyone instead of focusing on themselves and trying to find out how they can get rich on their own and leave everyone else behind. This is very different to the Legends version of the story, where Will Rowe Hood is a straight-up hero. The Camp to know was originally a computer core that had sensitive Rebel Alliance information on it. Will Rowe was a Rebel spy racing off to destroy it before he was captured and tortured, but he didn't give up any information. I always liked that version of the story too, but thanks to The Mandalorian, we now know that an ice cream maker is a container and not part of a computer, so that had to be changed. And like I said, I loved the Pulp Fiction-style MacGuffin they turned it into. If you're interested in reading from a certain point of view The Empire Strikes Back for yourself, you can pick it up for free on Audible by clicking on the link in the description or by going to www.audibletrial.com slash Star Wars Explained. The audiobook is out right now, and the production value on all the Star Wars audiobooks is very high with sound effects and music. It's like listening to a movie. But the From a Certain Point of View books go above and beyond with a larger voice cast including John Hamm, Sam Witwer, Mark Thompson, and more. Signing up for an Audible trial will get you a credit for one free audiobook, and you can use it on From a Certain Point of View, or just about any Star Wars book you can think of, or get any book you want. The point is, you get a free book, and you'll be supporting the channel when you do. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.